Coordinator for the Louisiana SPCA, and today we're going to talk about preparedness planning for your pets. The most important thing to remember every hurricane season is to prepare ahead of time. And to that effect, you want to think about having a pet evacuation kit for your pet or pets in your home. Now, the most important part of a pet evacuation kit is a safe way to move your animal, such as a carrier or crate. A rule of thumb that you should keep in mind is that every carrier or crate that you use should be comfortable for your pet to stand up in, turn around, and lay down in. Because we spend so much time in our vehicles during evacuations, you don't want your animal to be uncomfortable, which adds to his or her stress. The next thing that you should keep in mind for a pet evacuation kit is all the necessary comfort items. Just like people who get stressed during an evacuation, animals can feel stressed too. They feel off the stress of their human companions and they can sense changes in the temperature. So one best thing to do is to make sure that they are as calm as possible. To that effect, we always recommend that an animal's favorite toy or toys be brought along so that they have something that's familiar for them to play with when they get to their location that they are going to be staying at during the event. A small type of bed or pillow that the animal uses on a regular basis or even a favorite sweatshirt or sweater belonging to the owner can also be used as a comfort item for them to rest on during the journey. Some other things that you can think of might include a favorite chew toy, favorite treats for the animal, uh, some sort of calming aid such as Felloway or other hormonal type of additive that you can spray onto their bedding or onto the carrier during the transport. All of these things are designed to make sure that the animal travels in comfort and remains as calm as possible. The next thing you should think about for an evacuation kit is cleaning supplies. Um, you don't want to be running to a store last minute during an evacuation trying to get things for your animal off of an empty shelf. So it's always important during the setup of an evacuation kit to use common household things such as paper towels or toilet paper to clean up spills from urine or feces, plastic poop bags if you're traveling with a dog, have a cat or other small animal such as a rabbit that's litter trained having some sort of disposable litter pan and a scoop to aid in the process is very important and then again enough litter or other types of supplies to last approximately three days until you can get to your destination and go out to a store to replenish. Uh, the next thing that you want to think about is food and water for your animal during the trip. Most of us do travel in the vehicle without stop or with only small breaks, so it is important to have something such as a travel food and water container that will fit in the carrier for your pet. Uh, something such as this small bowl would suit very nicely. Um, making sure that you have plenty of fresh water that remains uncontaminated is important as well. A supply of food, such as dry food, uh, it's very important for your animal to survive for the trip out there. Something like this with a little clip on the bag keeps it nice and fresh during transit and prevents it from spilling. And again, if you prefer wet food, just making sure that you have enough hands to cover you through all of those days of evacuation. Now the most important thing in my mind regarding evacuation is making sure that your pet is easily identified and cared for in a healthy manner. The most important thing here would be a readily visible collar and tags. This is something your animal should wear even when it's not an emergency because if your animal were to get loose, that's kind of a local emergency and you want to make sure that the people who find your animal have a way to identify him or her and get him back home to you. It's particularly important when you're traveling to an unfamiliar area where people may not know or recognize your animal to have a tag with a good cell phone number and even better, have an emergency number that's outside of the evacuation area just in case our cell phone communications are down. A rabies tag is required by law to be worn on an animal at all times as well. If your animal is not microchipped, speak to your vet about microchipping your animal before hurricane season. A microchip is a very simple, easy addition that you can have implanted in your animal and it allows you to list your contact information, emergency contact information, addresses, phone numbers, and emails so that if your animal gets loose and ends up with a shelter or a veterinarian, 
you have a means of being contacted to reunite you with your pet. Having your animal's medical history is also very important. So speak to your veterinarian about printing out a copy of the medical history of your pet uh, to make sure that you have that on hand. That way if your animal does get sick or injured or if the evacuation is long term, you have documentation to give to a new vet in the area that you've gone to. Uh, you can also list important things such as animal poison control or your vet's emergency number on a small contact card to keep in your medical file. That way if something arises on the road and you don't veterinarian identified, you have a quick number that you can call and obtain help. If you have the ability, we always recommend getting a pet first aid and CPR course or bringing a course book from a class you've already attended. A small kit that has bandages and materials that you can use to cut, you know, treat minor cuts and wounds from your animal is important to have on the road just in case you're out at a rest stop and your animal were to say cut their foot on a bit of glass. If you don't want to have to get off the road and spend a length of time at the veterinarian, knowing what to do in a pinch is very important. The last thing that you should have with you is your animal's medications. This is very, very important, particularly if your animal has chronic disease issues such as diabetes, hyperthyroidism, or any number of medical conditions. You want to make sure that you have a ready supply or prescriptions on hand to keep that animal in continuous supply of his or her needs. Ongoing medications such as flea and tick and heartworm prevention is important as well. So these are the basics of any emergency evacuation kit. If you have an animal that has special needs, such as a snake or a small rodent, uh, the research that you can do is very easy online or you can go to our website and we do have information on how to deal with those small companion critters that are not your typical dogs and cats. For a summary of everything we've talked about today, please go to Louisiana SPCA's website, www.la-spca.org slash evacuation, and look over our disaster planning to help you be more prepared this season.